Today we're going to make an easy ghost decoration that glows in the dark here at Jack of All Studio. To get started, we're going to need a two-part epoxy resin. I'm using Smoothcast 300. You'll need some dispensing and mixing cups as well as some stirring sticks. Some protective gloves, some glow powder, some cheesecloth, balloons, and sticks. First up, you want three small balloons attached to three sticks, two being roughly the same size and one longer. In the configuration shown, mount into a secure base. I'm using one, two, three blocks, but a piece of styrofoam weighted down would work just as well. Next, we're going to prepare our resin. Shake them well until they're thoroughly mixed. Next, we're going to dispense them one to one by volume into separate dispensing cups. Next, we're going to add our glow powder to our Part B resin. I didn't have a certain ratio of glow powder to resin that I needed to use, so I just used enough that looked good to me. Next, stir the glow powder into the Part B until it's thoroughly mixed. Once your glow powder is thoroughly mixed with your Part B resin, we want to combine both Parts A and B into a larger mixing container and stir using a new clean stirring stick. Next, we want to take our cheesecloth and place it into the mixed resin. As soon as you combine parts A and B, the resin will start its curing process, so we want to work quickly at this point. You want to stir and mix up the cheesecloth with the resin so the cheesecloth will soak up as much as the resin as possible. Once the cheesecloth has soaked up enough resin, we want to drape it over our balloon form we created earlier. If you're using two pieces of cheesecloth to cover the entire form like I am, you want to make sure that the two pieces overlap slightly so the resin will combine them at the seam. The resin should only take about 15 to 20 minutes to set up and cure. At this point, we can remove the balloon form that we used to create the shape. Finally, the last thing we want to do is to create a face for our ghost. I'm just using a 3mm foam sheet that I got from the craft store. Draw whatever face you want your ghost to have onto the foam, and then using scissors or a razor, Cut the foam shapes out. Once you have all your foam pieces cut out, we just want to attach them to the ghost using something like super glue or hot glue. I'm just using regular Loctite super glue. And that's it, we are all done and you should have yourself a glow in the dark ghost decoration. If you liked the video today, go ahead and share that with your friends and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of when my future videos come out, be sure to turn on notifications below by clicking the little bell icon. Hopefully this will inspire you to get out there and just try to make something. And remember, don't be a turd.